pound Aussie, right? And pound Aussie headed to the upside and target is up there. You can see the opportunity right there, right there. And uh, uh, trade one is actually here. So this is Enerwin ready right now, right here. Trade one is here and trade two is up here, right? So you can see that with one, two positions to the upside. There we go, pound Aussie up. First one we found that we can trade <laughs> and it's pushing. We uh, we got uh, a, uh, let me put this down here to the 10 and you can see, there you go. So down in here is trade one. So you got to figure out where you want it. Now don't take it here, let it recede. Come back down. Look at the white dot there. They're going 55 pips, right? Uh, trying, right? So uh, let it recede a little bit. And this is, this is trade one in here. All right, trade two is up here. So uh, what happens is if you wait for trade two up here, which is right here, all right, what happens? All right, well, you, you've taken all this out right here. The purpose of trade one has only one job. The purpose of trade one's job is to produce enough profit to reduce the risk of trade two where my two big lots are coming in. All right. So if I could get 30, 40 pips of profit in trade one, 40 pips of profit, then when I put a 40 pip trade on a 40 pip stop up here, I'm only risking money on one of those lots, not both of them, because 40 pips is covered by trade one. All right. If you think through the process, you'll go, oh, my gosh, that's so simple. Yeah, it's so simple. It's so logical. It reduces your risk and maximizes your opportunity. What else could you ask for? All right. So watch for the turn here right? and it's having trouble breaking out. So you can see they are they're keeping the structure, but they're building a flag. Now, this is manipulated. Do not think that happens randomly. Right? See, so there you go. That's the opportunity right up there. All right. Will it happen this morning? Maybe, maybe not. All right. But one thing you know is that they keep building this flag. All you got to do is put your stop below the flag right in this area here and hang and Put your entry orders in up here for trade two and break it. T30 is trade three. You put an HSI on, all right, from the bottom. It's going to run the whole sequence, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, 233 to the upside. All right, there you go. That's what it does. Do they know them? Yep. Do they know them? Yep. Do they know them? Yep, they know them. Do they, will they know this up here? The R4 on the 1,000. Uh, which, which is 100% uh, of this move right there. That's 100% of that move right there, All right? You can see there's the target area. Which one are they going to use? I don't know. So when I hit the first one, I move my stop. I may not get to the ATR, but I want to hang in in case I do. And what if I break and go all the way up to the top of the channel? I still want to be in, see? All right, you hold, you don't limit, you move your stop. I want to put in the bank, good, move your stop. Well, yeah, but I, I, I have to leave four pips on the table up there. All right. Are you willing to risk four pips in case it breaks and goes to the fib and even higher up to the 1.618? Are you willing to risk four pips there? Of course, that's about the spread for crying out loud. Well, of course you do. All right. And sometimes you won't make it but sometimes you will. And when you do with multiple lots on, by the time you get up to here, you got multiple lots on, or you're not trading, you're a gambler, you'll make a lot of profit when that thing finally breaks for four pips. If it breaks, who knows if it's gonna break? Nobody knows. All righty, they're, they're in position, but they're not doing much with it right now. Hmm, we got to pin it. Wow. That's sweet. Okay. So once you got a pennant on, you don't trade inside the pennant, or in this case, a symmetrical triangle. You, you trade the break of the symmetrical triangle. Fast trackers, how are they going to come out of here? How are they going to come out of a sim triangle? Boom, Anthony said. They're going to explode out of there. That means you know automatically that your trade here, this opportunity, is now 100% with um, uh, entry orders. So where would I want to put that entry order? Well, I can see this 618 is being respected right here. All right. So I need to be above that 618. See that? All right. So uh, trade one would now go in above this line, which is the top. There's trade one. And trade two goes above the fib. 
Do I have my snowman? Yes, I do. See there? There you go. See that? So there we go. All right, there's our breakout here. All right. So now remember, all right, there, see how they exploded out of there? All right. There's no little dinky candle. They're just exploding it out. All right. So now we wait for the, our entry order here and our entry order here. All right. We're now looking for a market order. Now, if it if it fails here and pulls back, you may get a market order. But now you got to decide why did it fail? Why did it fail? They had all kinds of traction and, and momentum and they still weren't able to do it. Well, what does that tell you? Because when they come up here, they're going to go up here and try to clip the entry orders sitting in up here. If there are none, that means there's no traders up here. All right. That's what it means. Think through the why. Why wouldn't they make it through there? Because there weren't any buy stops. And if there aren't any buy stops, they can't continue the candle. And now it means they got to go back down and see if they can find some more. Why would that be? Because professional traders will not buy at the top. Professional traders don't buy at the top. They buy at the bottom. 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 Right? That's where professional traders buy. If they top out up here, they got to go give them another bottom so they can entice them in. Right? That's why we have pullbacks and retracements. Right? There's a function. There's a reason for it. And what happens to traders is they get in there and they got they're in the trade. I'm in a trade, man. Oh no. Oh no, man. It's going back on me, man. Oh no, no, no. Wait a minute. Are you a buyer? Yeah. They're coming down to find buyers. Do you want them to find some buyers? Yeah, I want them to find some buyers. Then let them come down. They're coming down to find buyers. You're a buyer. Think how ludicrous that is to think the other way. But that's because we're on the right brain. We're not on the left brain. And the right brain is, well, besides being mostly brain dead, it can't trade. All right? The right brain has emotion in it. That's why you're going, oh, no, man. Oh, no, no, no. you got to break your own. Oh, that's emotion. You're right brain trading. You know, I think it's going up, man. I think it's going down. That's belief. Neither one of those are right. The chart says we're going up. That's right. The chart says we're going down. That's right. I think it's going down. You're wrong. Who's the trader? The left brain. It, it does the logic. It does the analysis. It loves the math and science. Now, is there math and science going on in here? Absolutely. They love the knowledge and the facts, and they're detail oriented. The left brain is the trader, but the left brain can't trade unless it's taught. Who has to teach it? You do. How do I do that? I do 300 of everything. 300 flags, 300 symmetrical triangles, looking for the explosion out. All right? 300 bull flags, 300 bear flags, 300 retracement fill, uh, uh, fibs, 300 uh, fib extensions, 300 channels, 300 trends. You can't do 300 trends, there aren't any. All right? uh, that many. So, well, they're not reversing. All right. Now, would anybody, would everybody agree that they exploded out? Would everybody agree they exploded out? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it does. And it's not. That's the, that's the key. Now, possibly, as, as Abdul's pointing out, that they are anticipating that that is the end for the dollar index. And therefore, they're, they're going into a buy because, as you see, the money's coming in. Right. How many people we got in here? Remember, it was all entry orders, so you should be in with at least two positions right now. First position, if you executed, first position was there, and the second position was there, if you executed. There we go. Eddie, Abdul, Adam, Daniel, Abdul, JT. There you go. See, that's it. And if you're new, you went, I, wait, I thought, I thought you were going to call a trade. Alden, three positions for Robert. Uh, it typically follows the dollar. Yeah, typically doesn't have to. Don't forget, it's not 100%. So this may be the time it isn't. Maybe the dollar is going down after all. all right. So there we go. So we got a live trade on on the pound Aussie. Nice job, everybody. Now, what's the danger now? Well, we have an unsustainable move. So at some point, this is going to stop because it's unsustainable. Is it, right now, it's a, a Elon Musk SpaceX rocket going up in the sky. <clears throat> sometime it's going to stop when it stops right you're going to move your stop underneath that fib right that means only trade one may, may make money right but you're here for the whole trade uh, 
Uh, there you go, Adam. <laughs> Three of my trades last night with a total of 11 positions, all with entry orders, and while I was asleep. There you go. Don't get much better than that. Uh, so, great school today. What did we learn? We learned about symmetrical triangles. See, the market is going to give you a lesson every day. Are you going to take the lesson? Are you going to even capture the lesson? Are you even going to know what the lesson is? Because the market's going to give you one every day. That's how you learn. You don't learn because Scott sits here and goes, blah, 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 blah. Right? Yeah, just scroll left. There's, there's your school right there. I, I got an hour free. What am I going to do? Uh, hi, honey. Uh, I'm going to go in and work on the charts for a while, okay? Yeah, I'll see you in an hour or so. I love you. And you go in the charts and make pretty charts. That didn't help you at all. You go in the charts and work one piece. I don't get break, hook, and goes. All right, I'm going to do them until I see them in my sleep. And I go back in the past on a 10-minute chart, and I start marking break, hook, and goes until I see them. Uh, and I see the percentage that they happen. I keep track of that so I know what it is. How do I know that when I have a zero line break of the MACD and a T3 break virtually simultaneously, it's going to go in that direction 82% of the time? How do I know that? Because I went and did the work. <laughs> and there's Adam. Buy the 300 now. That's how Adam learned. He did the 300. That's how Adam learned. You see, instead of trying to go find a trade, what Adam did was he, tried, he, he, he first of all, he had to learn how to train. All right. First thing he had to learn was how to train. Once he learned how to train, then he knew how to trade. There you go. And proof is in the pudding. 5,000 pips last week, probably 3,000 so far this week. All right. So there you go. Is it there? It's there. It's there every day. Well, not every day, but it's there for you. Do you know what to do? If you don't know what to do, if you don't stay with us, find somebody who knows what to do. And learn how to do it. You can't learn it on your own. You won't get it by osmosis. Not going to happen. Get it out of your head. And you're not going to learn it in three weeks. So get that out of your head. Huh? 